everyone what is up and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Sarah and I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video and of course if you are returning then I am so happy that you are here too in today's video I am going to be doing the kombucha challenge so this isn't really a challenge that has been made up here on YouTube just yet I don't think anyway but I am going to be drinking kombucha for a week straight and I am going to show you guys my results everything that I experienced and really just my overall thoughts on the experience as a whole so if that's something that you are interested in seeing then definitely keep on watching and if you do like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's just go ahead and jump right into it just a little disclaimer I am not a doctor and I do not claim to be a health professional these are just my own opinions and what worked for me personally and what has worked for me to keep me healthy and balanced so I do just have to throw that disclaimer in there so if you're wondering why am I filming this in my car why am I sitting in my car well currently we are under self-quarantine if you will and my fiance he's working from home and he's on a bunch of different conference calls and stuff so I did not want to film this at home while he had all that going on so I just took a little trip in my car and honestly it's the most beautiful day outside and it's just nice to kind of get some fresh air and do all that even though I'm not going anywhere it's just it's nice to be able to get out of the house I did drink kombucha for a week straight and if you guys do not know I am a huge 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 believer in kombucha it's something that I truly do believe has changed my life Today is my first day of the kombucha challenge that I am going to be doing. Just to get started, GT's is by far my favorite brand of kombucha. It is on the stronger side compared to other kombuchas you can get in your grocery store, but this one is by far the best. When I was really sick, which I will talk about in this video, this was the only thing that really helped me get over my sickness and what I was going through at the time. So I am going to be drinking these only since this is is day one for me I kind of wanted to start out with no makeup on so you guys can see the current state of my skin and what I really have going on honestly I don't really have any breakouts or anything I do have this red pigmentation but it's not an active pimple or anything like that and I do have a little bit of redness here and a little bit down here one thing that I do notice when I am drinking kombucha often my skin clears up like crazy not even just breakout wise but my whole entire complexion clears up so I just wanted to make sure I could point out my skin to you guys and another big benefit that I do notice when I drink kombucha often like I said I used to drink this every single day when I was going through an illness a sickness whatever you want to call it and I noticed so many benefits not even just my skin my complexion my overall health my gut health all of that but if you are one of those people that is feeling chronically bloated or every time you wake up in the morning you feel extremely bloated this is something that completely changed the game for me so I highly recommend trying out kombucha if you have not just yet but I'm gonna stop talking I am going to let the results speak for themselves so without further ado welcome to day one of the kombucha challenge Today is technically still day one and I am about to finish this bad boy up. One down. My eyes are watering because it's like it's very carbonated but it's good. It is good. I feel good. I can tell you guys whenever I drink these I automatically get energy. When I was drinking these every day for months I literally wasn't even drinking coffee. I would just have one of these in the morning and I was good to go and if you guys have been here before you guys know I love my coffee so I feel good. I have a lot of energy. It's weird. I haven't eaten in a while but it kind of makes me feel not full but it kind of satisfies my hunger while I do drink it. Of course I know I'm gonna be hungry in 30 minutes because that's just how that goes but I'm also gonna show you guys what my body looks like I guess on the first real day of doing this I'm gonna do some before and afters and maybe throughout my journey of how it might change my bloating and how that looks towards the end so I am gonna throw those clips in here as well I 
told you guys this stuff gave me energy. So if you guys are not aware of what kombucha is, or maybe you've never had kombucha, or maybe you've never even tried kombucha, kombucha is basically a fermented tea, which basically just translates to a really carbonated drink that contains live microorganisms. So kombucha does have so many health benefits, it's insane. And I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of knowledge behind kombucha. So there's a few different benefits that kombucha does have, which I've experienced for myself, and I cannot say enough good things about it, but kombucha does does contain a very high source of probiotics. That is actually one of the reasons that I started drinking kombucha is because I was trying to get a larger source of probiotics. So that is one huge benefit that kombucha does have. It contains antioxidants. It can kill bacteria. It may reduce the risk of heart disease. It may help manage type 2 diabetes. And it may help protect against cancer. And these are just a few of the health benefits. There are so many other health benefits beyond that, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a condensed version. <laughs> Good morning. What is up? Today is day two of my kombucha challenge. So I do have a fresh little kombucha right here ready to be opened. This is the watermelon wonder flavor. Honestly, this is one of the best flavors that they have. Even if you don't like kombucha, I feel like this is a good one to start off with or the strawberry serenity, but I'm biased. Those are just my two favorites, but I am going to go ahead and crack this thing open if I'm strong enough. Maybe I'm not. Here we go. Cheers. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know everything that there is to know about kombucha, but if you ever see me drinking and you see kind of this stuff at the bottom, this is called the SCOBY, I believe, and this is where the good bacteria comes from. So if you don't know what kombucha really is, it's a fermented tea. So it does go through a fermentation process, and that is the stuff that you want to drink. I know when I show this to people, they're like, oh my god, that is disgusting. And and it might look disgusting, but when you're drinking it, you really can't taste it. And you don't even like, you can't taste the texture either. Like you don't feel it in your mouth. So it's not an issue for me, but yeah, welcome to day two. Another thing that I do want to point out is if you are drinking these, you aren't going to physically notice a huge difference right off the bat just from drinking one of these for the first couple of days, but you are going to notice how you're feeling internally. We got to chug through this today and then we will be on to day three before we know it. So it is about four o'clock right now. I am about halfway through my second kombucha. So this is the second day. I feel good. I don't know what it is about these things, but when I do drink these, it does satisfy any type of hunger or cravings that I'm having. So it does make me avoid snacking on things that I don't need to snack on throughout the day, or it just makes me feel not hungry in between my meals like I normally do. So I noticed that throughout the day, sometimes I will get hungry and end up snacking on something like chocolate, which obviously isn't the best thing. It's not the worst thing either, but that is something that I have noticed today. I didn't really feel the need to snack or I didn't have any cravings. Anytime that I felt like might have had a craving, I would just pick up this and start drinking it. That's where we are today. I have some good energy going. You can see the SCOBY. I am going to finish this guy off for today and then tomorrow we will be on our third kombucha and we'll see, we'll see what we're feeling from there. And a big reason that I did start drinking kombucha over a few years ago is to boost my immune system and get a good source of probiotics. So I just want to start out with my story of when I started drinking kombucha, which like I said was a few years ago, but I did start drinking kombucha when I was experiencing a lot of issues that women do go through, which is nothing to be embarrassed about. If anything, I think we should talk about it more and have an open discussion about it. But basically I was experiencing a lot of issues that women will go through when they offset their pH balance or maybe they have have too much yeast, too much bacteria, and there's an overgrowth. So that could be anything like a yeast infection, BV, really anything that a woman might experience when they have an offset of their pH balance. So I personally was going through that and I was suffering with it. I was going to the doctor, I was having tests done, I was prescribed antibiotics, I was prescribed gels. I pretty much did everything under the sun that my gynecologist told me that I should be doing. I even went to like three or four different gynecologists and nothing was helping. So I started doing a little bit of research online and 
I started reading that probiotics are such a good thing for our body that really help offset the bad bacteria that we have that can sometimes overgrow within our body. So I thought that might be one of the reasons that I was experiencing all these issues is I, my pH balance was off and I was just having an overgrowth of the bad bacteria. So I ended up discovering kombucha and specifically I love the brand GT's kombucha. That is by far my favorite. I have tried all of the major brands that you can get in the grocery store and GT's is by far the best. So I will only go with GT's. I will just say that and leave that there. It's, it's just by far the best. So I started drinking kombucha once a day for a few months and all of the issues that I was experiencing and going through went away. For me, that was amazing because this was something that I was suffering with for months and months. Even my doctors couldn't figure out why this was happening and what we could do to solve it. And I truly do believe that the only reason my issues started going away and disappearing and have stayed away is because of kombucha. <music> guys i'm doing a new flavor this is the ginger berry so i'm quite excited this one's good with everything going on right now with just the health in the world i just wanted to stress the importance of having a staple like this in your life of course it does not have to be kombucha but this is a really easy way for me to get my probiotics in. Probiotics right now are so, so important to make sure that we are nourishing our body. So I did wanna come on here and kind of update you guys with my skin cause I just washed it. I just got out of the bath and I wanted to just show you guys the redness that I'm experiencing from the bath and applying my products. But I just wanted to point out kind of where my skin is just so you guys can see but it's definitely clearing up this is just redness from applying my products and being in the steam of the bathtub and then this is something that is currently healing but something important that i did want to point out is i am currently on my period tmi i know but that does kind of affect the way my skin's gonna look as well so i just wanted to throw that in there as a little tidbit to let you know that i usually break out around here when i'm on my period so this has nothing to do with the kombucha if anything the kombucha is helping it heal. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and kind of show you where I am with my body because since I am on my period, I am feeling extremely bloated. And just a little disclaimer, I do want to say that when we consider ourselves to be bloating, we all have different ideas of what bloating is or if we feel bloated. And for me personally, what might be bloating for me might not be bloating for you or what might not be bloating for me might be bloating for you. So that's one thing that I do just want to point out is the way I feel internally is just that I do feel bloated. My stomach has been killing me due to the circumstances of my time of the month. So anytime that I am on my period, I do notice that my skin does act up just a little bit and I do feel more bloated around my stomach area. Those are just two big things that I did want to point out just for the fairness of this kombucha challenge that I am doing. I thought that was a disclaimer that should be thrown in there. But other than that, so far so good. I am feeling good on energy. I am feeling good mentally, physically, other than feeling a little bit bloated from my period. I'm gonna continue to monitor and see if my skin clears up throughout this challenge. It's gonna be like a week that I am drinking these and seeing the results. So don't forget to get your probiotics in, stay healthy, wash your hands, and that's all I can say with everything that's going on right now. There's just so many health benefits that you get from drinking kombucha. And like I said, my two main reasons were to boost my immune system and to get that good source of probiotics. Once I started doing that, after a few months, I noticed I did not have any more issues. But besides that, aside from all of my health issues clearing up, I noticed that my skin was clearing up. I noticed that I had so much more energy. I was having really bad skin issues at the time and it completely cleared my skin up. Like I wish I would have done this challenge back then because it was just amazing. The results that I was seeing from this. So I wanted to do a kombucha challenge for you guys here on YouTube so you guys could see the benefits of kombucha. And if you've never heard of kombucha, you can learn about it because maybe you're going through something similar or especially with everything that is going on in the world right now. If you're just wanting to boost your immune system and get those good probiotics in your body just to try to stay healthy and keep your body healthy, this is something that I totally recommend. <laughs> So 
So I do just want to say that I did do this kombucha challenge for a week and the first couple of days the biggest thing that I was noticing was my energy levels. I had so much more energy than I normally have if I just drink coffee in the morning. I would wake up and drink my kombucha and my energy levels would be so much higher than they normally are. And not only that, when I was waking up each morning, I noticed after the first couple of days, I was not anywhere near as bloated as I normally am. So I didn't feel bloated and my digestion just felt so much better than it normally does. That might be TMI, but I truly just felt so much better in my body and how I was feeling energy level wise. And towards the end of the week, towards the end of the kombucha challenge that I did, I was noticing all of those things, but as well as my skin clearing up also. So it did take a little bit longer for my skin to start clearing up, but when I started the kombucha challenge, I was having redness all over my cheeks, almost like I had inflammation because kombucha is supposed to be an anti-inflammatory, but that is something that I did really notice that change in my skin is my redness was going away, my bloating was going away, and overall I just felt healthier. So those are the biggest things that I noticed throughout my journey of drinking kombucha for the past week. And besides that, I also was feeling kind of sick when I first started the challenge. I had a runny nose, my throat was kind of hurting, and with everything going on in the world right now, I did not want to take my chances, even if it was just a common cold. By day two and three, I already felt 100% better. I wasn't taking any medication. I was just drinking the kombucha. My sore throat went away. Everything that I had that felt nasty and just not good inside went away, which for me, that was amazing because I didn't have to take any medication to make it go away. I was just drinking that and it made me feel so good inside. So those are definitely the biggest things that I noticed throughout my week of drinking kombucha. And I think those are a lot of the things that you guys will notice as well if it's something that you do give a try. So I will have to say the biggest benefits that I did notice were it did take away me feeling sort of ill towards the beginning of the week. It did take away my bloating. It did take away the redness on my skin and it did give me a lot, a lot, a lot of energy. Energy that I didn't know I could have because I drink coffee every day. Even sometimes that isn't enough for me. So this was amazing and it's something that I would totally do and I'm going to continue to do. I personally love kombucha now. I crave the taste of kombucha and if you have not tried it, I will say it does take a little bit to warm up to, but definitely give it a try and once you start seeing the health benefits of it, I think you will end up falling in love with it just like I did. And just as a little disclaimer, I do just want to say that these are the things that worked for me. This is something that works for me personally. Kombucha might not have the same effects on me that it does on you or you might have different effects on you than it does have on me. So that is something that I do just want to point out. If you do try this kombucha challenge, you might not experience the same things. But if you are someone that is currently facing maybe some skin issues, digestion issues, bloating issues, energy issues, low immune system issues, womanly issues, if you know what I'm talking about, then definitely give the kombucha a try because I know for me personally, I'm one of those people that would rather try to treat something naturally rather than going and taking a bunch of medications, a bunch of antibiotics, which really aren't doing any good for your body. If anything, it's just kind of fighting off all the good stuff too. And you don't want to do that. So with kombucha, I only noticed amazing benefits from it and I would recommend it to anyone, at least just to give it a try to see if it does work for you. If you're one of those people that is suffering like I was, this completely changed my life. And I know that's a big thing to say, but it really did completely change my life. And if I could have started drinking kombucha sooner, I definitely would have. So if you are one of those people that's currently going through anything of what I was going through, or you're looking for the benefits that I was looking for, try out kombucha. And if you do try it out for a few days and you notice any benefits, or if even if you don't notice any benefits, definitely let me know. I want to hear your guys' experience as well. But with that being said, this is pretty much going to close out today's video. If you did like today's video, if you like this challenge, if you like the idea of drinking kombucha, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will definitely see you guys next time. Bye guys.